That's Thomas Middleditch. That's Ben Schwartz. Together we are Middleditch and Schwartz. We have three totally different, unique, long-form improv comedy specials on Netflix right now. Woo! Watch them. Woo! Watch them right now. We watch other things on Netflix. Yeah, it's a great platform. We're hip. What's your faves? What are your faves? I'll give you my top five Z-divesies. Okay. I love BoJack Horseman. Okay. I like uh, Sheet Metal Crimpers. It's What's this, sheet um, metal it's this competition show. They've got these big, big sheets of sheet metal, and it's like, they're crimping them in all these different shapes. The whole show? Yeah, and it's like, if you don't crimp them in the shape that you were to, told to do, you get crimped you're out. out. Uh, That's okay. what the guy says. You're out. Is that the catchphrase, you're out? Yeah. I also love movies that made us. I love that, because first mm -hmm. of all, it's like that nostalgic look of all those movies that I watched growing up. It also tells you all like the turmoil and the craziness that happens within the actual film. I haven't seen that. Have you seen Mud Sloppers? No, it's Mud Sloppers. Okay, Mud Sloppers is like- On Netflix, Mud Sloppers? Yeah, Mud Sloppers is a show where um, a bunch of kids, they are slopping around in the mud. It's 20 minutes even because then the timer goes off and it's like, okay, that's 20 minutes kids, like come on out. And they all like come out and they, you know, they wash off, but that's off camera. Really, you're just watching these kids like slop around. So you're literally just watching a program where kids are getting money and running around? I don't know if they're getting money, dude. I think it's gonna be the love of the game. Anyway, Mud Sloppers, check about? it out. It's like deep cut Netflix. I like all that. It's just something for everybody. But like mainstream stuff too, like Stranger yeah. Things, I think is amazing. Uh, I'm a big a Joe Curie fan, of course. Think about a TV show or a movie that's a Netflix thing that's like mm. more mainstream. No, like I know. That. I yeah. know. They have tons so of So Stranger Things is one of their top three okay, programs. Okay, here's one. Here's one. Uh, something like Stranger Things. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't, I haven't seen Stranger Things. It's great. And I never will. Okay, what's something that I watch? And a big thing. That Okay, it's one of the more big things. Um, oh, okay, no, yeah. you've probably seen this one. Probably. Hoppy Hoppy Gotta Get Out? Uh, it's a show on Netflix called Hoppy Hoppy Gotta, Gotta Get Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it about a rabbit or something? Yeah, so you have seen it. No, All I the haven't seen it. Yeah, the rabbits are in the little boxes and they gotta hop, 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 and get out but they don't really know where they're going and they're all placed on like precarious edges and surfaces. So some like hoppy hoppy and then they fall off the cliffs or their deaths or like, you know, off a cabinet and it's not that it's bad. It's a series? It's not more, it's not like a... It's a series, they're in their fifth season. Is it funny? Is it funny? Is it like... It's funny, but it's also kind of sad because you know, some of the bunnies don't make it. So you watch bunnies die on this thing? Inadvertently, no one's killing the button bunnies, you know? They just like can't see and they inadvertently hop to their death. It's better than cheer. Uh, oh, so you know what cheer is? I've heard it's good, but this is guaranteed. If you like comedy, while well, I'm talking about comedy, Tim Robinson has a show called I Think You Should Leave, which I think is really funny. It's a fun sketch show and it kind of oh. like goes in the vein of like the stuff that we came up with, that funny alternative type comedy. Have you seen Get In Here, We're Going? Is it a sketch show? I literally have never heard of any of these shows you're in. Well, it's a hidden camera game show. Get In Here, We're Going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it when someone captures someone in a car and they leave? Yeah, and they leave and then they go and then they're like in a, in like a, a confined space for like an hour and it's real time. So the whole show is just watching this person in a van for an hour? In a van, in a bag, like tied up and suspended. Like it's it's weird. It's so funny though. Why, how's it funny? It's just someone in a van thinking they've lost their lives. Or yeah, because in order to get out, they got to come up with jokes. Oh, you didn't explain so there's that. Like, yeah, there's like four how judges. How do they know that? Where, well, how do there's... they know there's judges? I mean, they get captured and they're blindfolded then, obviously, but when they're brought to like the warehouse or like the, the arena. Warehouse? The arena? Sometimes they do arenas. And there are four judges and they go, okay, now tell us some zingers or you will never be free. And so... So they, their lives are threatened unless they yeah. think of zingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, uh, Naomi Campbell, David Chang. Um, These are the hosts? Bruce Valanche, let me finish, and Whoopi Goldberg. And they're just like, you know, tell us the jokes. Oh, they're the they're the. They're the, they're the, the And the who panel. are they captured? Who are the people that get captured? Just people, just folks. They're shopping or like getting... Well, well, how about this? We'll talk about movies. We got one more. That's four oh. to the five. We'll do okay, one more. I'm a real movie head. This is probably um, my specialty. All right, good. And like mainstream, like I'll even go big. Like my, okay. one of my favorite franchises is Back to the Future. I think Bob Zemeck is a genius. And they, on Netflix right now, Back to the Future Part 3, which I think is amazing. It's called Back to the Future? You've never heard of Back to the Future? Where do they, they 88 go? miles per hour, Wait. Marty McFly, Doc Brown. How do you go back to the future? Doc Brown builds a time machine. The whole idea is they go back in time, but they didn't bring enough plutonium, so Marty McFly's stuck there, and he has to find the doc to build the time machine to go back. That's the first one, there's three. Okay, well it sounds a little far-fetched. I kind of like more grounded stuff. Have you ever seen Wizards stop, of stop, Cream? Stop, 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 before you finish it. Because I heard Wizards of, and I think it was Cream. Wizards. Zab, stop. Think of a movie that everybody in this room knows. If you haven't seen Wizards and Cream, you're insane. Who's in? Give me Jack this. Jack Black. Oh, I love Jack Black. David Duchovny. I love David Duchovny. They're wizards. I'm so afraid to find out where the cream comes in. Cream comes in at the end. You'll see. 
So those are our five each. That gives you 10 special things to find on Netflix. Check out Middle Itch and Schwartz. Yes. We have three different long form improv specials. Completely made up on the spot. One's about a wedding, one's about a job interview, one's about the hijinks that happen in law school. Everything made up on the spot, nothing written beforehand. We'd love it if you watched it and didn't watch. Well, no, do check out Wizards and Cream. Definitely.